Minister, you know, I acknowledge that, that your, your department is prepared to put in the flexibility, but the issue here really is about more than that. You know, it's about the additional funds that will be needed. And I, I, what I would like to hear from you is that government is working through all its departments for to put together a package of what the needs will be and to go over to Brussels and to put it on the table and to say, look, as a consequence of Brexit, we have a whole lot of small businesses, particularly in the border region, but across the whole country, that will need additional resources. We also need additional infrastructure put in place. And your department is key to that. And I welcome the funding that came, for instance, to places like the Food Hub in Drumshambo. And it's the small businesses like that in places like that that will need additional resources. And the reason why you know, we're in this position is because of a conflict between a member of the European Union and the European Union itself. And for that reason, it is important that government seek the additional funds that are required. If Europe is saying that they're prepared to stand behind us when it comes to the backstop and all of these things, they actually need to put funds in place for to stand behind us. Because there's no good in saying, you know, we stand with you in poverty. And that's what's going to end up in a lot of areas of rural Ireland where we don't have the resources or the capacity for to build into the future. So, Minister, you know, your department is key to this because you have a role in rural Ireland and most of the border corridor oh are very rural. Minister, so you need to come up with the to... goods in respect of this. Minister, Thank you, Peter. To respond, one minute. Thank you, Deputy. Um, I, I just want to reassure the Deputy that all departments, all ministers and government as a whole is, very, is working on the Brexit proposals. We have already published our plan on the 19th of December. In relation to, to Heather Humphrey's Department Enterprise, they have already set up a fund there to help small businesses prepare for Brexit. Department of Agriculture and every other department have plans there, as I have myself in my own department when the time comes. In relation to funding, we can't talk about funding yet because we don't know what the problem is. We, well, we don't know what the problem is. We're still all hoping that we will have a deal. We are all hoping. And I mean, to be honest with you, no, Minister, to, to be honest, Deputy, I, I could point out a few little things to you. You and your party would be a great help to us if you took up your place in Northern Ireland and if you took up, if you took up your seats in, 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 in the House of Commons, that we'd have somebody to represent the nationalist view, both North and in England, at least Minister, this government... Interruption. Well, all I can say to you is, you're not afraid to take the Queen's shilling, you took the expenses, but you won't go in and represent us. And we need Minister, you now more than ever, Minister, and you won't go in and represent a, us. Don't be inviting... Inter no inviting interruptions. Uh, the next is the... Deputy John Kern, who's